as you get older, you know, you start to realize that your true wealth is time. Partly because you don't have much of it left, partly because if true wealth was money, you blew it. <laughs> so anything that can save you time becomes more and more valuable. Now for me, driving into the garage is a real waste of time, because you gotta do it so slowly, otherwise you go right out the back end again. <laughs> Oh, sure, I guess you could get the brakes fixed on your car, but who has that kind of money? <laughs> so instead, I've been collecting boxes and boxes of these styrofoam chips that they use for packing, like when you buy a Chia Pet on the internet or something. And I'm gonna put them into this plastic resealable bag that our new mattress came in. Bernice went with the king size so she get a little farther away from the action, or she calls it snoring. But I figure if I fill this bag full of these styrofoam chips and then seal her up tight, I'll be able to go into the garage at any speed I want. I want to take off the hood ornament first. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, big, big week up at the lodge this week. The town of Possum Lake has decided to get rid of the old wishing well downtown. I know the odd time I'd go by there and throw in a handful of coins and then make a wish that I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> Uncle Red! Yeah. Uncle Red! What? Can you tell the guys to hold it down? I have a terrible headache. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry to hear that, Harold. You know, maybe if Winston could just turn off his truck. No, I can't do that. The battery's dead and I don't think we want to be pushed start a sewage truck, Harold. <laughs> no, no. Here, try these. Oh, thank you. Okay. Boy, those aspirin are huge. Oh, they weren't aspirin, they were earplugs. <laughs> right. What's that? Oh, these are some coins that we took out of the wishing well. We did kind of a late night withdrawal last night. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Harold. Sorry. And you know what? That's just the spillover. We sucked most of it up with Winston's truck. All right, Winston, let her go. Oh, that money's gonna need to be laundered. It's time for the Possum Lodge Word Game. will receive this coupon for one free session from Mario's Male Hair Removal Center, <laughs> where we specialize in Speedo waxes <laughs> for the little European in all of us. <laughs> okay, Dalton, cover your ears. Red, you've got 30 seconds to get Dalton to say this word. Scale. Scale. Yeah, all right, Mr. And go! Okay, Dalton, this is something you have in the house that tells you when you're gaining weight. Oh, my wife. <laughs> okay, okay. What's this called? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. French? No. Okay, okay. This is what you find on a fish. A tartar sauce! No. Okay, okay. If you have a model that's a lot smaller than the real thing, it's called a something model. Anorexic model. Okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't, now. If you were going to climb Mount Everest, people would say you were going to do what on the mountain? Die. <laughs> Red, almost out of time yeah. here. Okay. Oh, oh, I know. Dalton, there's, there's a statue. It's supposed to represent justice, and it's a woman holding something. You probably have one of these in your store. Oh, dude, no, that sounds way too upscale for my customer. There. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Rothschild Sewage and Septic Sucking Services. We love to see you smile. When I go camping with the guys, I don't take my Swiss Army knife anymore. Oh, sure, it's a good-looking unit, and it's nice to have handy in case the Swiss invade. <laughs> but for me, the joy of having 12 tools in one is dampened by having to eat my dinner with the same utensil Buster Hadfield just used to clip his toenails. <laughs> Now, personally, I think it's time for the Swiss Army knife to evolve into something a little more practical. <laughs> like, say, a Swiss Army surfboard. <laughs> oh, sure, it sounds like the title of an old Elvis movie. I think you'll find it's a lot more entertaining. <laughs> now, for this to work, what you need are a couple of good-sized wind surfboards. Shouldn't be too hard to come by. Just look for a couple of guys coming out of a midlife crisis, and I think you'll be able to pick them up for a song. <laughs> Maybe something by the Beach Boys. <laughs> so once you get them lined up, one on top of the other, you want to seal the one side, top to bottom, with the handyman secret weapon, <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> and there you go. Now all you have to do is secure the open side for easy transportation. You might want to do that with some type of a rust-proof graphite metal hasp. I would do it with another piece of duct tape. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Oh, sure, it's a good-looking unit, Red, but how do I get all my camping gear in the car? Well, that's the beauty of it. This is your camping gear. This is all you need. Got a couple of changes of underwear here, if you're fussy about that kind of thing. There's your knife and your forks and your spoon and a big enough slab of beef jerky that you'll never need any of them. But there's more. So much more. Your bedroll. Your fishing rod. And for comfort, your footstool, <laughs> an old fan. I can lend you one of these if you need it. Got my share of old fans. <laughs> and for your nightly entertainment, oh, here we go. <laughs> A 22-inch television. Oh, I know what you're thinking. That's impossible. And it is. <laughs> without this portable generator. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they say, oh, I almost forgot. You also want to throw a paddle in there. Let me show you why. <laughs> it's not just a Swiss Army surfboard, it's also a Swiss Navy surfboard. Sometimes when couples get older and the kids leave home, they'll move into a smaller house. Usually, it's the wife's decision. You know, one day, she'll turn to her husband and she'll say, we really don't need all this space anymore. And the next thing you know, there's a sign on the front lawn and a guy in a mint green jacket is walking strangers through their kitchen. <laughs> Most men fight the downsizing. That's because the phrase, we have too much space, is outside of their vocabulary. <laughs> Men don't have too much space. <laughs> Men don't have enough space. Ever. <laughs> We've spent a lifetime hunting and gathering a basement full of bounty. We're darn proud of it. <laughs> That's why your husband needs to keep the fun fur futon from college. <laughs> and the boxcar Willie 8 tracks. <laughs> and that world's greatest lover t-shirt he got 20 years ago which was a rough guess then and is right off the radar at this point. <laughs> See, the smart wife knows that moving into a smaller house is the only way to get her husband to ditch all that crap. Because given the choice between move it or lose it, a guy my age will always choose to lose it. We're just too lazy to pack it up and take it somewhere. <laughs> so let somebody come over and haul her all the way to the dump. That's where most of it came from in the first place. <laughs> Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Rothschild Sewage and Septic Sucking Services. We're everywhere you don't want to be. <laughs> that little setback in our wishing well project. The bank won't accept the coins unless we sort them first. <laughs> Why do banks always have to be so difficult? 
I wish I had a nickel for every time I've said that. You do. Headaches gone, headaches gone, headaches gone, headaches gone. Really? I think mine just got here. That's too bad. Mine's gone. Oh, my. <laughs> Well, I'm all better. What can I do? What can I do? We're sorting, Harold. What denomination do you like? Lutheran. <laughs> Just do the pennies, Harold. Okay. You know why I'm doing pennies? You know why? You know why? You know why? You know why? Because I got the most sense. <laughs> well, it's still early. Where's the coin tubes? You got to roll the coins. The banks won't take them in these bags. Why not? That's the way they give it out. Yeah, but Mike, don't forget you have that Smith & Wesson ATM card. <laughs> Harold, are you saying we have to roll the coins as well as sort them? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who has more money than a bank? Celine Dion. <laughs> the Port Asbestos Casino. Hey, that's right. They'll sort it for us. Let's go. Great idea. Uh, uh, Mr. Green, um, I can help you get there, but... Um, I can't technically go into the casino for another 30 days. All right, now, uh, bring all the coins, Harold, will you? Yeah, okay. There's one that fell on the floor here, too. I'll get that one. Yeah, okay. Gotta get them all. All right. <laughs> I was up behind the lines there, because I heard the Bill and Walter were fooling around, and boy, something knocks the mirror right off the truck. It's a little, kind of an odd projectile, and then there goes another one. And... So there, I'm out there, and there's, I thought they were having a fight. They seemed to be punching each other in the stomach, but... Oh, okay, yeah, oh, it's a little... Oh, the water rockets. Yeah, I, okay, no, I know, water rockets. I know, you pump them up, and then you fire them off. Like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's, well, that's exciting. Way to go, boy, yeah. And then Bill, uh, being a little older... Um, and this, oh, that's it. So now I'm enjoying that. I can see the fun of it now. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, I can see that now. Yeah, yeah. So now they're going to take her up a notch. Bill's got the idea. Instead of using, why don't we use the, uh, the, the cola bottles, you know, because it's a little bit bigger. You know, and with the carbonation, you're going to get a little, but, but you've got to get some of the, the liquid out of there. And, uh, of course, these guys don't want to waste anything. So instead of just pouring it out, they, they, they pour it in. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know if you've ever tried this, but this, there's, there can be some pain involved with uh, and I was afraid of getting caught in the overspray, so Bill luckily had something in his pants for a change, and uh, so we're... Oh, that's got to hurt. That, that's, that's painful. You, I would, if I was you, I'd quit, but I'm not you. So Walter's chugging it down, and we, we get a sense that there's something coming our way. All right, and that's fine. That was finished. Very tastefully done. Bill, maybe not quite as tasteful as Walter. No sense of decorum, and he figures he's outdoors. Easy now, easy, 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 easy. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just going to step back a little bit. Uh, so they hook the uh, they hook the coal. I put the the umbrella up over my head at first, and, and they're hooking the they got up the bicycle tire pumps, and uh, they're pumping up, and getting the pressure going. And I get a feeling these are probably going to blow sideways rather than up. So uh, I'm probably better to go with the horizontal umbrella thing. And, uh, you know, right about now, I'm looking pretty smart because that's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's using your head. Oh! So now we take her up another notch. Got the water cooler with the uh, dual throat carb fuel injection air intake on her there, and the, it's starting to distort a little under the pressure. So Walter's thinking, you know, we may, maybe that's enough pressure, Bill. And one more, no, no, Bill, we maybe one more. And no, I think we're good, Bill. Bill, we're good. Bill, we're good. We're good. We're good. One more. And and oh boy, hang on, Walter, hang on, hang on. And of course, one more. And that may have been too much. Yeah. And there goes Walter. Bill gets soaked. I'm loving this. And I think Walter's coming your way, Bill. Here he comes down. <laughs> oh! Today on Talking Animals, local animal control officer Ed Fritt is here to tell us all about spiders. Yes, that's spiders. No, 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 not spiders, Red. <laughs> Who told you I was going to talk about spiders? <laughs> I thought you did. 
Well, yeah, you thought, you thought, you thought, you thought, you thought that weasel wouldn't bite. Yeah, yeah, you thought that skunk had been decented. Yeah, yeah, and who paid the price there, huh? Yeah, 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 I think we're through making decisions based on what you think. Yeah, all right, all right. That's why tonight we're going to meet Mr. Possum. Oh, yeah. You know anything about possums, Red? Well, this is Possum Lodge. I'm the leader of Possum Lodge. We have a possum on our crest, and when I was in high school, my nickname was Possum. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You made it to high school. <laughs> anyway, possums are very civilized animals. They don't bite you or sting you or hide in your underwear drawer. <laughs> they get this. When they're scared, what do you think they do? Huh? Play dead. <laughs> they play... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at this possum. But first, I'm going to scare it so it'll act dead. All right. Boo! Okay, take a look. I know something else about possums. They need air. No, 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 he's fine. Uh -huh. he... He's just toying with us. I think you're going to have to resuscitate him, man. <laughs> What are you suggesting? CPR? No, how about mouth to mouth resuscitation? Huh? Hey, folks, you want to see Ed perform a miracle here? Huh? Come on, Ed. There you go. And just small puffs now, don't inflate them. Should have done spiders. <laughs> you ever seen one of these things? It's called a photovoltaic cell. Whenever light shines on it, it makes electricity. So you can actually use this as a switch that's turned on by light. Some of the finer restaurants use these so that when your headlights shine on them, it rings a bell inside, and then the waitress comes out on roller skates bringing you your jumbo triple cheeseburger and large order of fries so that you can have the heart attack in the privacy of your own vehicle. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've come up with a way to use these little switches to make it a lot easier to drive a car. <laughs> these days, we got way too many distractions while you're behind the wheel. In the old days, all it was is a fuzzy dice and the eight-track player to worry about. But now you got trip odometers, weather detectors, CD players, air conditioning, power windows, airbag locks, GPS tracking system, and cup holders. <laughs> that's a lot to ask from a mind that's got more miles on it than the car does. <laughs> so what I did was, I attached a photovoltaic cell on each and every one of the doodads and gadgets on the automobile, which means that to turn each one on, all I have to do is shine a light on it. That's what this spotlight is for. I just turn it on and then aim it at my own head. <laughs> Next, I put on these mirrored sunglasses, which will reflect the light to whatever I'm looking at, which will turn it on, like this. And it's just that easy. Oh, sure, you get the odd headache from staring into a blinding light all the time you're driving, but I'm sure you'll get used to that. Oh, jeez, aren't hornet. <laughs> well, this has been a very educational day for me. For example, I never realized how heavy coins are when you get enough of them. <laughs> and in conjunction with that revelation, I had never seen four tires blow simultaneously. <laughs> Not to mention what the possum van crashing to the ground can do to an exhaust system. Oh, Uncle Red, you're back. Yeah. I didn't hear the possum van pull up. Boy, it must be running quiet, huh? <laughs> Not really, Harold. Um, I walked back from town, Harold. We just got to the edge there, and we ran into a huge pocket of gravity. <laughs> and then we had to get the van towed to Flinty's place, and there's $600 damage to her. The pos I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> $600? Can you afford that? Well, uh, Flinty opened up the back of the van. He says we got enough coin to cover it. <laughs> 
had blown a couple of valves, so she's shaking pretty good. And with all the different size holes in the floor, you can actually sort the coins right in the service bay. <laughs> That's incredible, you know, yeah. well, when you figure, you know, you, you got all that change, you know, from the wishing well, yeah. and, and you tried to cash it in, which was wrong. Yeah. But in the end, you got your van fixed, so I guess you got your wish. No, I didn't. <laughs> Meeting time. Yeah, you go ahead, Harold. I'll be right there. <laughs> my headache's back. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, then my work here is done. My wife is watching. I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. Okay. Maybe, maybe I never got my wish to come true, but hey, thanks to me, neither did your dad. <laughs> and the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. Let's go. Everybody take your seats. Sit yep. down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. All right. Now. Bow your heads for the man's prayer. I'm a man, but I can change if I have to, I guess. Okay, uh, guys, Winston tells me he's still got a bunch of coins in the tank of his septic truck. If any of you want to go sniff them out. <coughs>